because all the action is going to speak for itself in the squared circle. 22 of the top wrestlers in the game today, including names like Gene Kaniski, Canada's greatest athlete, Bulldog Bob Brown, Champagne Jerry Morrow, as well The Natural, Gene Swan, plus many other top stars took part to see who would become the new WFWA heavyweight champion. Let's take you up to the ring to see who became the new champion right here on WFWA Main Event Wrestling. We're going to join this one in progress. You've got the, the, the four of them in there with Jericho, Kaniski, and Bobby J. You've got four on three, a predicament if, if that's the way they want to go about it. And that's dangerous for one of them anyway, for a double team effort. Here, here, here's where you see a lot of the duplicity and a lot of counting and swerving. Everybody trying to get everybody to help everybody. It almost comes down to about a four-man tag match with all eight people in the ring. Jericho just been eliminated. The natural just, well, basically lifted him over the top rope as Jericho was coming. Look at Bill, look at Bob Brown over in the corner. He's oh. going, oh, isn't this nice? Yeah. Oh, Kaniski! He was waiting for it. I thought he got stunned. Jackson's being eliminated as well. Oh, they count both off, could be gone. Oh, moral, and there's where that alliance came in handy for a man like the Bulldog. Sure, he's right there. They're, they're really watching out for each other's back now. Look at this now, Kaniski. He doesn't want to take on somebody, but he's going to take on the natural. And Janetti now with a shot to the midsection. You know, Kaniski, exactly like you call, he's going to keep his back to the ropes or the turnbuckles because he knows Morrow and Brown. I don't even know if they care about the title as much as putting out. Oh, both of them have been eliminated. The natural and Bobby J. We're down to final three. Nick, can you call it from here? I don't know. I'd like to see Kaniski, but you never know. Well, that's, that's the natural crowd favorite at this point. Uh, this man at the age he is, coming out of retirement uh, for the matches the past few weeks. Uh, there's no love lost between any of these people, but they definitely have got three, three veterans here. And Those they're stalking their prey, are they not? You know, you're not going to see a lot of action with these three in there right now because they're all playing each other's strategies. Bob Brown said, you're not going to get away from it. You're going to get beat. But Kaniski's been around too long to fall for that. Karate thrust there. If you will. Oh, and Moro just took a chop. There you go. Now this is where, oh, look at them. Both of them are going to work on Kaniski. That hard headbutt of Jerry Moro. Nick, this could cost them. A clothesline that landed. It didn't look pretty, but you're not going to get a pretty sight with those three in there anyway. There's nothing pretty about the three of them to begin with. Looks like he's trying to work on that cauliflower ear. Does a guy like Gene have to counteract now and wait for a mistake to happen, Nick? Or does well, he... he's got to try to keep his wits about him because at this point, he can be dazed. He can be half out of it. You, you try to keep it cognizant. You, you know, you, you, you live in a... Look at Kaniski. That's not a look of pain. That's a look of anger. And you're... Oh! Call him an old man if you will, but I'll tell you what, I wouldn't want to be on the other end of those shots whatsoever. There's three old dogs in there that are chewing and scratching and scraping, clawing at each other. Oh, a big boot tomorrow, and... He, hold on, did he? He threw off Bulldog. Bob Brown has been eliminated. And Kaniski, he just realized that Brown's been eliminated. Jay Kaniski, Nick. Jake, hold on, the referee didn't see it, though, Nick. The referee didn't see Morrow go over. The referee was being sabotaged. By, oh, come on. Can't help you. 
Uh, Nick, we saw what happened. Uh, that's, that's a choice on our part. Uh, Nick, I mean, we saw Kaniski take Brown over. He walked over to Brown, not thinking that he was out. He noticed the feet were down. He took Jerry Morrow and threw him over the rope. The referee didn't see it. Morrow, thinking quickly, ran back in the ring, took out Kaniski. And ladies and gentlemen, I wish I could be telling you differently, Nick, but it's all history. The new WFWA Canadian heavyweight champion is Champagne Jerry Morrow, and I'm sure Kaniski is not finished with this one. No, all this is going to do is inspire that big Polak uh, to, to, to stay around quite a while. I tell you, get out of here. I tell you, there's something in the middle of the day. She has to come to us work and get out. There's something in the middle of the day. Why don't you get up, boy, one time, eh? I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. I don't want you to get up. I don't want you to get up, huh? Wrestling fans, you just saw what happened a few minutes ago, and G. Kaniski, as far as I was concerned, should have been crowned the new WFWA heavyweight champion because of your friend Bulldog Bob Brown distracting the referee. You came back in from the outside and threw Kaniski over. A um, misjustice, an injustice, call it what you will. You should not be the champion. Why you say that? Be Why? Because Gene Kaniski threw you legitimately over the top rope. Do you see my feet touch the ground, sir? I actually don't want to see any part of you in this interview with this belt, and I can guarantee you one thing, Mr. Morrow. It is not the end of Gene Kaniski and yourself. That's champagne, J. Morrow, for you, sir. And listen to me. I'm the best. Who's the champion? The champagne man. It well, will always be the champion. Let me remind you one thing. He went in the ring with 24 guys and came out the 24th. Why don't you shake his hand? Why don't you give him a kiss? Why don't you hug him Thank and say, you, congratulate, champion? Thank What's you, wrong with you? Man. You're just as bad as I thought you were. The only hand I'm going to shake is this one, waving goodbye to both of you. Get out of my sight. We'll be right back. For all you more ones in Winnipeg who don't know me, this is the champagne man, Mr. Condolo. Fly me all the way to Calgary to show you people what I can do. I told you something. Just put me in the square circle there when this all this more one there and they behind them in the hospital. Because on my my game, people doesn't fool around. You know, they hang up in the hospital when they're blocking arm, blocking neck, blocking back, everything you can do. Because the champagne man coming to Winnipeg just to show you guys what to do.